putting your troops in positions to intercept the enemy on their way in. It was a, a very different style of game for us. We also noticed that we started to need uh, unique interface elements that we never needed for the standard multiplayer game. Things like a little timer window up in the, the top of the screen to tell you how much time you had left on a mission. And it, it seems like a really small thing by today's standards, but really, at the time, this was one of our first steps to uh, properly supporting a very different gameplay style for the campaigns. So, on to Warcraft 3. Now we're talking about a game that was focused and centered on heroes. And not the type of heroes from StarCraft, you know, up in the battle cruisers and command centers controlling the, the battle from afar, but heroes that were right there on the battlefield, you know, fighting alongside their units and the, the rest of the army. So it made sense to take those characters out of the briefing room and put them right there on the battlefield where they can play out the, the actual combat that's going on and you could see the conflict and you could see them talking to each other. And this wasn't just in a separate space, this was literally on the same battlefield that you ended up playing the missions on. So it really brought the, the story mode scenes to life. And we also very much wanted to take it another step towards making each mission unique and different. So we really wanted to make, uh, change the very, uh, very the gameplay of the missions themselves to make each mission feel like their own mini game. An example of this is Here's a shot from a mission called The Culling from the original Warcraft campaign. And the, the gameplay of this mission is actually racing against another force. One force is trying to go out and collect a bunch of undead, and you're trying to put an end to that by killing the undead before they can get to it. And sometimes this race involved interfering with the other side to slow them down so that you could reach your goal before they did. It's a very different gameplay style than we've tried before. Another example is uh, the secret mission from the expansion. After the original Warcraft, there was a lot of mods going out into the community, and one of the types of mods was called the Tower Defense. And there were just tons of them. They had this, all this great gameplay in them. We said, why don't we try and make a mission around that? Let's throw away all the rules. You're not training, you're not even building structures or uh, you know, training facilities and peons and collecting resources. The whole gameplay is centered around massive armies heading towards your base, and you have to fend them off by strategically placing defensive structures, defensive towers, to whittle down the forces before they got to you. And it's, it's a very different gameplay style than you'd expect to see in any kind of RTS, really. So that brings us up to StarCraft II. Now in StarCraft II, we're taking a lot of the same ideas that were developed in StarCraft, in Brood War, WarCraft III, and the expansion set, and trying to push these ideas forward into sort of a new space and create the same kind of gameplay we've always had, but really expand on it and make it just as deep and awesome as we possibly can. One of the things we have in StarCraft II that really helps us out is we just have an opportunity for a lot more story. Between our story mode spaces and all of the additional cutscenes that we can create using our engine to create a lot of in-game cutscenes, we can just see a lot more of the story than we ever could in any of our previous games. We're also trying to get you closer and deeper into these characters. In the original StarCraft, of course, you just had the briefing screens, which just gave you sort of the heads of these characters. And in WarCraft 3, as Mike was saying, we're now closer down to the battlefield. We can see these characters moving around on the battlefield. We can see them, you know, running away, coming to help each other. We can sometimes see them fighting as well. But they're still sort of a character on a battlefield using a real-time strategy engine. You can't see their facial reactions very well. They don't really um, have a wide range of emotions they can really give off. Now in StarCraft 2 with our new story mode experience, we can get you a lot